Welcome to the Fleet Command tutorial video in which we will get through more advanced options of commanding your fleet while deployed in a sector. All necessary Fleet Command tools are available to you in the Tactical Interface, or simply Tac View, which gives you a more strategic perspective of a sector in the operation phase. You can check the status of individual ships in the fleet, change their stances and combat modes, and of course assign basic orders such as to move, follow, and attack. Orders received. Let's begin. You can open the TAC view right after entering a sector by pressing the M key. We can immediately see the change in perspective and the overall advantage the TAC view has to offer when looking around the sector. Use your WASD keys to move around the TAC view camera and mouse to zoom and change its rotation. While in TAC view, you can select a ship in your fleet by directly clicking on its icon in space or by using the fleet tab menu, which gives you a more organized view of your fleet. After a ship has been selected, let's take a look at the unit info panel which can be found in the bottom right corner of the TAC view. Apart from basic information like unit model and class, hull integrity, used cargo space and current fuel level, you can also access modules, weapons and cargo hold of the selected unit, as well as change its active stance and combat mode. Furthermore, direct unit control can be also transferred from this panel. We will now go through weapons, stances and combat modes. In the Weapon tab, all equipped weapon types are displayed together with their current integrity and ammo status. With launcher weapon types, you even have the option to set their usage setting, which will affect how often the launcher fires when in range. This can help you preserve more ammo in less difficult engagements, or go all in if the situation demands it. Launcher usage can be also set during the deployment phase in the fleet roster after entering the loadout editing mode, which is then saved between individual sector deployments. Let's talk about unit stances and combat modes. Unit stances are used to change the default response of a ship after identifying an enemy. In defensive stance, a unit will only attack hostiles in its close proximity. In aggressive stance, a unit will attack all detected hostiles, regardless of range between them. Engaging the enemy. In passive stance, a ship will not move to attack even if targeted by a hostile unit and is actively receiving damage. However, turret weapons will still fire if an enemy is in range. Just a small note, when in combat, only a direct retreat command or activation of the passive stance will make a unit break an engagement and follow a non-attack order. In larger ships equipped with turrets, you also have the option to change their combat modes. This affects the default combat range a ship will try to maintain during engagements. In close combat mode, the combat range is based on a weapon with the shortest range that the ship has available. This is a great option for loadouts that require closer range for better effectiveness. Conversely, in long-range combat mode, the combat range is based on a weapon with the longest range that the ship has available. It is a good idea to use this setting with loadouts that have weapons focused on dealing damage from afar. It's time to learn something about giving orders to your fleet. After a standard ship selection, you can then use your right mouse button to give yes, quick Commander. orders to units which are under your command. Ready for orders, Commander. To give a move order, simply right-click with the cursor Copy in space, that. which enables the waypoint editing Ready. mode. Here you can follow the visible instructions to change the altitude as well as waypoint mode between standard Roger and that. retreat. To confirm the move order, press right mouse button again. Ready for orders. Like we have mentioned before, retreat order overrides any active combat behavior of a ship and automatically switches its stance to passive. Standing by. Receiving. Giving a follow order is easy. Just right click on any friendly, neutral, or unknown unit and your ship will move out immediately if it's not engaged in combat. Orders received. And finally, 
To give a command to attack, use the right click on any hostile, after which your unit will confirm and engage the selected target. In Space Rain, it is possible to both command and directly control any ship in your fleet, which gives you the option to maximize the potential of your units. With a ship selected, navigate to the Advanced Unit Info Panel in the bottom right corner of the TAC view and press the Direct Control button. This will immediately transfer the control of the ship and stop any orders it was assigned to. After the control has been transferred, you can now exit the TAC view by pressing the M key again and start operating the ship manually. To exit the manual control mode, use the direct control button again back in the TAC view. Remember, while the pilots under your command are quite capable on their own, direct control mode can have a huge impact on the outcome of a battle when used accordingly. This is the end of the Fleet Command tutorial video. Make sure to check out more database entries to learn about other features. Good hunting, Commander.